When the sun's shining, there's every chance Rahan and his dad, Roo, are at the beach. Mixing snorkelling with a splash of science. The ocean is like a whole different world itself. There's so many different creatures to the ones that are on land. It was on these underwater adventures the 10-year-old started to notice something unusual about octopuses. When I looked really close, I could notice that there was a fish next to it. I thought it could be by coincidence, but it wasn't. It was actually following it. While his father didn't believe him at first, as a researcher of animal behaviour himself, he challenged Rahan to test his observations. Uh, we saw two in the So just make that note. So, over a year, the pair snorkelled at four different Perth reefs, recording what they saw. What Rahan had observed was a relationship called nuclear follower behaviour. Is that a tentacle? Yeah, that's a tentacle. The brown-spotted wrasse follows the West Australian common octopus because when it moves its tentacles, it disturbs food for the wrasse to eat. I've spent so much time in the ocean and it's not something I've ever seen. At least between those two sea creatures. Rahan and Rue got to work writing up a scientific paper that's now been published in a CSIRO journal. At just 10, he's believed to be one of the youngest people in Australia to have research published. It's not a massive research project, but what was important or what was exciting about this is getting a child involved in actual research. So, so does Rahan want to be a scientist when he's older? Of course I do. Silly question. Evelyn Manfield, ABC News.